Alrighty. So today, I went to pick and pull, and I managed to find... Really? What good are you? There we go. Uh, went to pick and pull, managed to find a OEM roof rack for the Mark III's off of a Jetta Trek that no one had taken yet because the car had literally gotten there that day. And one, not two, but one OEM fog light. So we're gonna try to get the OEM fog light in and not break this grill. Although if you did, we learned today there's plenty of them over at uh, Pick and Pull at least. Oh yeah. Well, they're all Jettas though, that's the issue. To undo a little bit of the cover to this wiring, which is not going great because it's old and sticky and yucky. How old am I? And I just said yucky. There you are. 28, 27. 27. And then we take our handy dandy wire spreader thing. We do that. Then we fish the fog light wiring harness out of the bumper. What did I do before these? I'll tell you what I did before these. Just fucking suffered. Like a regular jabroni. Watch I go through all this and the bulb in that one's burnt out. Hey, we've had pretty good luck today so far. That is true. And then we just connect wire to wire, which should be fun. So we got connected. Stand by to find out that the bulb doesn't work. And just like that, we have a single working OEM fog light. And I also grabbed the uh, trim piece for it as well. So, neat. Now I just gotta go to a junkyard and find another one, eventually, maybe. All right, yeah, let's get this thing in the car. Alrighty, single fog light is in the bumper. And get this nasty looking trim piece in there, which I think. Yeah, this was, I has to do the counter at pick and pull. Uh, I was like, he's like, oh, what you got? And I'm like, oh, I got, you know, I got a fog light and uh, a roof rack and this little bracket. I don't know what you want to call this. And he goes, free. And he just said it in the most like dead inside board voice ever. But also sick. I mean, it doesn't match, but. Yeah, the dude also rang up the roof rack as two medium brackets, which meant I got the whole thing for 20 bucks. 21.84. Yeah, 21.84 when on their website it states that roof rack has a normal price of 30 bucks. So, props to the dead inside guy at Pick and Pull. <laughs> Cuz man, was he not having a good day. All right, so for now, cuz I don't have the other fog light, I clipped the other one right in there so we would just it wouldn't be dangling freely. It'd just be, you know, out of the way. Um, yeah, so to have a an OEM fog light. <laughs> and uh, I should probably tighten that bumper a little more because it's not tightened at all. Also, I got a roof rack, which is tight because, you know, if there's anything any Mark III Jetta needs, it's a roof rack that I will carry nothing on. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna look like going down the road. Blinding, blinding, barely lit, non-existent. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm, I'm just fucking stoked I have it. The fucking roof rack just takes the cake. I was gonna suggest, actually, you know, this thing's so easy to take off, you don't even need to wait to get the vinyl top. Now I just wish I had a Euro switch so I could run just the fogs. Here's where my key would go, if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you lit by right now? Oh, you know, my car. But yeah, successful day, went to pick and pull, got some parts. Um, I, it's a shame that the Jetta, that the one fog light came from, the other fog light was still there, but uh, it was destroyed. Like the plastic housing was gone. It was just the projector and like the bulb and everything, <laughs> which, uh, that's weird. Why did you just take that? Um, <laughs> I was a little sad because the uh, the Jetta that the fog light and the roof rack came off of was a Jetta Trek. And if I'd had 
a bit more money, I would have snagged the seats too because they were in like immaculate condition. Except for the driver's side. Yeah, driver's had a tiny tear in the bolster, yeah. but it wasn't Not bad. Um, but yeah, that, that would have been sick to have a full Jetta Trek interior. Uh, would have been even more sick if it came with the bike, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, can't get over this. Hell yeah, now I can look forward to never carrying anything on those. Although I actually honestly might get a bike rack and, uh, you know, be really obnoxious and put my fixie up there. Just keep your bike on there all the time and not ride it like most people seem to do. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Like before, it looked like it got into a head on collision and made the best of it. Now it actually looks like it did this on purpose. <laughs> before, I think it did get into a head on collision and someone made the best of it. <laughs> Actually, I know it got into a head-on collision. I guess for how many previous owners this car had is 13. <laughs> One for every year. Wait, my math is off. I was going to say. So you know what, 13 still sounds about right. Ugh.